when you're using Linux and you have a server that is open to be logged in through SSH, you are going to end up finding some script kiddies out there who are going to be trying to get into your machine. And you can detect the brute force attacks by looking at your off log. So let's take a look at the off log. This right here is a virtual machine inside of a secure network. And if you take a look at our off log, so it's in var log off log, you can see all of the login attempts. You can see um, I am the user Joseph. I am doing stuff where I'm getting, I don't know, running commands with sudo. And you can see things happening here, but it looks fairly tame. There's not a lot happening. Everything here looks legitimate. And that's because it is legitimate. Everything here is fine. This thing is running in a virtual machine and virtual machines are usually protected. If you are um, running your own virtual machine, your own desktop is protected from outside hackers. Now, if I jump over to another machine that I control this right here, and take a look at this uh, off log. I can see just this day, you can see lots of failed password things for root. So you can see that someone tried logging in and there is an authentication failure. And you can see they tried from a different, you know, they tried right here and they tried right here. And then a different IP address tried right here. And you can see lots of different things where um, the password failed. So if I do a grep failed, I should have failed, it's good. And look at this, you can see lots and lots and lots of times when, for some reason, I keep getting failures. You can see different IP addresses are trying to get into this machine and they're constantly doing it. They're trying to find is there a user Steam? Is there an FTP user? Is there an administrator? And what they're doing is they're testing passwords and account combinations that are commonly used. So default usernames and passwords and trying to figure out what will work. Is there an admin? Um, what else works? And you can see that you'll see lots of IP addresses that are fairly common. So you can see this 218.92.0.151 shows up right here. It tried different passwords for root. And if I were to count these just um, in this off log, which is probably only a day or so, you can see that there are 14,000 lines right here. And if I were to look at the top of the off log right here, so do head, I can see this is only from the 17th through the 18th. And during that time period, which is probably um, just barely over 24 hours, we have received over 14,000 failed password login attempts. That's quite a bit. And that's what happens. They try to brute force your system and guess. As long as you have a secure password, you should be fine because script kitties don't go past this. They'll just kind of sit there and guess passwords until they've exhausted all the common passwords and then you are safe. So just be aware. You can take a look at that. You can look as you are off log to figure out what's happening and if you try doing the same thing right here on this secure machine grep failed you'll find that oh there's no failed password thing it's just failed to activate some service because it had a timeout no failed password logins on a protected internal virtual machine but there you go that's how you can detect brute force attacking